sparklers have a heat up to 1200 degrees. Now, if you think about it, boiling water is at 212 degrees, wood burns at 575 degrees, so a sparkler being 1200 degrees or higher can really cause some serious burns. A safety reminder, if you plan on handling fireworks tonight, Lieutenant Rich Stubbs with the Wasico Fire Department says a majority of emergency calls they have handled over the years involve children. Stubbs breaks down some of the precautions. Uh, we want to make sure that we have an open area with a garden hose and a bucket. Don't try to reignite a firework that didn't work. Uh, if, it, if it doesn't work the first time, then put it in the bucket and get a new one and start again. You don't want to mess with them because they could still be igniting slowly inside there and you don't want to blow up in your hand. And be sure to check if your city has ordinances prohibiting the use of fireworks before lighting up the skies tonight. Another reminder, law enforcement will be out in full force tonight looking for any drunk drivers. Authorities want everybody to be safe on the roads this New Year's. Here's a few tips. Designate a driver, call a cab or use a rideshare service. And here are some more options. AAA is offering to tow you home for free up to 10 miles starting tonight at 6. LNF Distributors in McAllen also teaming up with Lyft to offer $10 credit codes for passengers in McAllen and in Harlingen. A warning from law enforcement ahead of tonight's New Year's celebration. Police urged gun owners not to fire them into the air. Three years ago, Valley State Rep Armando Martinez was struck in the head by a stray bullet during a New Year's celebration in Weslico. He saw the injury there. But coming up on Channel 5 News at 6, Martinez is going to tell us how he is trying to prevent someone else from becoming a victim of celebratory gunfire.